up. Here we go. Yeah. Strike one. Do that again. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Strike two. I can't see her worth a hoot. She's just getting hold of the claws, I guess. The bait's so little, though. Here we go. I'm glad I'm not in the tournament. I'd be shaking all over. Look at that. She pulled the pinchers off both claws. That's all right. We'll get all the claws off. She'll have to get a hold of the hook then. It's a good fish. You'd think it'd be eating it a little better than that. Um, I tell you, the wind's kind of blowing in here and you can't see nothing. With this casting rod, I'm telling you, I can feel that thing come over every little rock. Every, I'm feeling her to get a hold of it and start to move with it. She just don't have it in quite good enough to catch her yet. But I think that's going to happen. Yep, she got it again. Nope, nope, I had a leaf on it that time. See there, I told you them things are sensitive. One little leaf felt like a fish. How many times can you jerk on one before you catch it? Usually a good one like that. You get it pretty good for some reason. This thing's just nipping it. I mean, barely nipping it. All right, this is a cast right here. Good one. Pretty good one. You finally got it in there, didn't you? Tell you what we're using today. We're using a caching rod. It's an M844, 17 pound test uh, Bass Pro Shop XPS line with a little zoom super or not a super speed crawl, just a speed crawl. I tell you that caching rod. Just like I said, that wind was blowing. I couldn't. I couldn't really see it biting it. But I could feel it. Finally, it got it in good enough, and we got it. Pretty nice little fat fish. <laughs> that thing couldn't get enough jumping, could it? 